I'm sitting here with Philly Cheese. What's, up, What's going on? We are here with episode 19. Thank you for coming. No problem. Thank Pleasure you. being here. Oh my god, I'm I'm just so psyched. Where, I mean, episode 19 is, ah, uh, it's so surreal. It is just like so many good things happening, just within this past month. Um, for those of you who haven't already heard. We actually uh, were confirmed by BlizzCon to give away uh, BlizzCon points in our next Hearthstone tournament. So that's a big thing. That's a big thing for us. It's a good accomplishment. It is. Yeah. I mean, there's not. There's, we don't have too many points to give, but some is better than none. Exactly. Yeah. Just the fact that we were able to get that application in, and Blizzard seems to be on board with it. Like, usually the turnaround rate is about two weeks. They got back to us within a week. <laughs> they they seem pretty impressed. Niles is already in the house. What's good, man? What's up, How man? you been? Say hi to Philly Cheese. What's good? Phil. Yeah. Tell the viewers about yourself. Um, How you been, man? I've been pretty good. Thank you. Uh, me and Justin go back a little ways. Used to work at the same place. Uh... Just talked about gaming constantly. Uh, I remember when you first started talking about getting this started, and we were just standing around at work, and <laughs> Justin was just like, yeah, dude, let's get this elite gaming thing going. And I was like, I'll help out if I can, wherever you want me to. So, um, yeah, you know, so I've seen, kind of seen it grow over the, you know, all this elite stuff. And, uh, yeah. Episode 20 is coming up. That's a big deal. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It, you should do some, like, milestone thing. That's like... Do a little montage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, montage. about myself, uh, I don't know. I play a lot of different games. As a gamer, um, you know, I went from, I don't know, World of Warcraft all the way to, like, Counter-Strike. That's probably my longest played game. I mean, uh, the best gamer is diverse, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, RTS, uh, whatever. I kind of, kind of well versed, have a wide breadth of gaming. Um, yeah, so we w we used to work at uh, the one, the only pizza guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we yeah. uh, gotta do a little shout out, I guess. I I think it was Hashtag funny. Pizza guys. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. I think it was uh, funny how uh, um, Ashley used to give us so much shit, and now. Now, hey, at least we're doing something with it. I know, right? Like, here we yeah. are. We're, what are you doing? <laughs> what kidding. better hobby to have than a little gaming community where gamers can come together? Yeah, and exactly. Just hang out. I mean, get teams together. This is the dream, right? Dude, elite gaming, the dream. Pe people are already coming in, too. Good. Keep hey, them Kyle, Kyle, what's good, man? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> pizza guys <laughs> are my hero well we we worked our asses off <laughs> like literally yeah like how like halloween is just its own thing that's oh my god just yeah <laughs> you, you should so wear your pizza guys hat right now. <laughs> oh my god I'm, I'm gonna go find it i'm gonna go oh find it god. oh my god the stunt meisters are gonna love it the well, stunt meisters well no i'm the stunt meister i'm sorry i gotta wait for them to come in Ah, oh, do a little, do a little promo right now. <laughs> yeah. This guy actually designed that hat <laughs> just while we're doing nothing at work. Oh. Uh, but yeah. Oh my god. Oh. 
My Heroes, You Were Invisible. I like how the name tag is on the back of the house. I know, dude. <laughs> like, I mean, it's already on the front, so I just figured I'd put my name tag So when you're on walking that. away, they'll be like, that guy's name is Justin. I, I know that kid. <laughs> I'm going to remember him delivering my pizza. More tips. Uh, <laughs> pizza wheelchair stunts. Well, we don't have any pizza, so, I mean, and, um... You know, I don't know why they called this a wheelchair last week. Like, they're like, do wheelchair stunts. I'm like, this ain't exactly a wheelchair, uh, but, like, I'll spin or something. You know what that reminds me of? There was this uh, Twitch streamer where he was getting great donations because he was in a wheelchair. Like, he would wheel up to a stream and everything. So, like, you know, he would get, like, tons of donations. And one day he was live streaming and he messed up. He thought he, like, paused or he, you know, changed the screen capture. And he stood up from his wheelchair and walked away like perfectly fine and the hoax was up like, oh i think you told Zillion me about OP? that isn't that his name i, I think you yeah. told me about it i remember that this guy he got, like, scumbag he got like hella donations and yeah. everything too yeah oh my god that, sh- that shit's fucked up yeah uh kyle we are from california the one california a we and love it, is, it. It is hot here. It's though. hot as <laughs> balls here. <laughs> like, like just a like. I just, uh, I just now got to be able to take the fan out of my room because it's semi nice outside, and I got my window open. So, yeah, other okay. than that, pretty much like what ten to five is just you're sweating your balls off inside of your house. Lake Tahoe. That is a nice place. I've always wanted to actually move to Lake Tahoe. Like, just yeah, it's a pretty chill community. I mean, just I heard it. I heard it's like a party town. It is. Ne- next to Fresno, like, too. You know, all the tourists go up there to party. Of course, of course. It's a great place to be. I I'd love to have a boat up there. Like, I wish. Oh my god, that. Uh, did I tell you about that? What? Our um. Our basically our lake is just so low we can't even. Oh yeah, the drought. It is just terrible, man. We can't even wakeboard anymore. I'm so sad. I, I can't take it, man. <laughs> I can't take it. Uh, well, as we wait for uh people to trickle in, I'm gonna throw some little news at you guys. Um, for those uh, who watch the YouTube video after this, uh, when we upload. But uh, we have our second uh, Cyberside Gathering Qualifier coming up this Saturday. So, you know, if you're into Hearthstone, Conquest, best of five format, top 16, move on to the finals uh, on July 5th. And, you know, $100 for first place, 10 BlizzCon points, second place, five, third place, and fourth place get one. I mean, if you play Hearthstone, why not? Yeah. Why not? Just throw your hat in the ring, see what happens. Fire Max, what is up? Welcome to the stream, man. Glad to have you guys here. Everybody's trickling in. I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Usually, see, this is this is why I changed it to nine. Because oh, I, yeah. Kyle, oh, Kyle, thank Kyle. you for following. Thank you, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is awesome. Yes, I, yes, I do have a $20 PSN code. Um, that we will be giving away at 300 follows, but, um, you know, I might do a little something special for our 20th episode. Oh. I'm thinking of it, because, I hint, mean. Hint, hint, guys. Those, something those, special coming up. Those gift cards are getting some dust up there, yeah. you know. I ain't getting the 300 fast enough, man. Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh, my God, that note. I know, right? I love that. I love that. Oh, my God. Peter Griffin and the tr- stripper cake. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, if you guys like Hearthstone, come on by. Um, you can always you can always ask me for info after the podcast or, well, I mean, during. So, you follow it. Oh. You know, it, uh, I think what it is, is it goes through, it goes through Twitch alerts, which I'm doing like a windowed mode of, so it's kind of like it's really delayed on top of the stream delay, cause mm-hmm. apparently this, um, the uh, CLR browser that uh, somebody created for OBS doesn't work anymore. 
Really? Like, I, I downloaded it, I tried unzipping it, I put it in the plugins folder, and it just, like, like it's not an actual DLL file, which usually all plugins are. Yeah, it's that's kinda weird. It's kind of just, like, it's kind of just sitting there, like, oh, what do I do with the file? Like, well, obviously nothing anymore. <laughs> so, we got to go through Twitch alerts now, but that's okay. It's fine. I mean, it's, it's a little workaround. Of course, here at Elite, we're known for working around everything <laughs> as you guys probably have seen in previous episodes for those of you who have seen previous episodes like it took me this long to get a webcam that looks this good <laughs> the hd webcam the hd webcam which which i found a gift card in my room 75 dollar best buy gift card just sitting there in my go. room from like two christmases ago <laughs> i didn't even know what, what was on it um I was actually about to go to my um, my godfather's house and go for Father's Day, and I mm. guess because I was representing the family or something, I was the only one going. So I decided to give him one of my old gift cards. Okay. You know, not re-gift just cut co- <laughs> regift a gift card exactly. <laughs> and then I thought, like, you know, I probably I need a webcam, and I probably actually have a couple Best Buy gift cards. So I'm like, hey, Tommy. You know, go get my gift card. I'm going to be outside. I'm going to pick it up before I leave. So I go there, blah, blah, blah. We talk. Eventually, I go over to Best Buy, come up, go up to one of the store employees, and just like, can you tell me how much is on this card? And she swipes it. 75 bucks. That was the exact price of this webcam. <laughs> I, was just, I just looked at her like, Oh my God! You don't know how happy that just made me. <laughs> and she just looked at me like, "You didn't know how much was on your gift card." I'm like, uh, "You know, gift card. You know, they don't they don't always write the money amount, and yeah. you know, I kind of th- probably threw it away two years ago." If so. you use it before and don't use all the money, you're like, "I don't even know how much is yeah, on this." Exactly. So you don't keep the you don't keep the receipt wrapped up. Yeah. And you're just like, "Oh, Does I don't that. even know." Uh, oh. Yeah, of course we're friends. Of course we're friends. I wouldn't even been friends for a while. He wouldn't even be here if it wasn't my friend. Yeah, I'm just some guy <laughs> off the street. <laughs> hey, hey, if Nightbot gets out of hand, uh, yeah, just I will, I will take him off. I will put him in the Nightbot dog pen because uh, he has, he has definitely screwed up a couple of streams. That's has for he? Sure. Just, just starting to. Uh, time people out and everything it's like uh no we don't we don't do that here and i bought go home calm down but anyways let's get into it uh first thing i want to talk about is the uh june qualifiers for heroes of the storm for uh blizzcon world championships for um i don't know if i already said heroes of the storm i'm losing myself right now this is what happens Everybody's (laughs) Everybody's <laughs> trickling in. I'm already losing myself. But, um, anyways, Tempo Storm finally took that. They took, uh, there was a top eight on June 20th, live streamed all weekend. Tempo Storm just played amazingly, knocking out Cloud Nine oh, Maelstrom. Yeah. And it was just a whole thing. Fire Max, thank you for following. I know, I know they're Fire all Max. late, but, <laughs> I mean, it's all good. Um, on on top of on top of temp, Tempo Storm taking the win, uh, they finally signed uh, a new player, Christopher Zuna Bircher, who was um he actually played he used to play on Cloud Nine Maelstrom, but uh, he switched to Tempo Storm I think about a month ago, sounds about right, and I mean they've. They've had such a good record, sweeping. Uh, they just completely swept Cloud Nine, yeah. and I mean, after after three wins against your former team, why wouldn't you sign with them? Yeah. Like, it was just uh, it was just tournament after tournament, just knocking people out, and you know, hats off to them. Tempo Storm. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm trying to get. Um, Heroes of the Storm team going for BlizzCon, and uh, they're good. Tempo Storm's gonna be a challenge, man. I'm I'm worried about them. I really am. 
Especially with the uh, current team that I have. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I am, I am really, <laughs> really insanely <laughs> worried about going against Tempo Storm. But um, hats off to them. They they did they got the job done. That um, actually, now that I think about it, I think they literally only lost one match in that whole in the whole, that whole top eight. Oh, that, top eight. The top eight. Oh. They only lost one match, and that's saying something. That's quite impressive. Ah, oh, is oh, we got Furley in the chat. Do we? Do we? Yeah. What's up, man? How you <laughs> been, dog? How have you been? It's been way too long. And Fire Max is from Canada. Canada. What's up, Canada. Canada, man. Canadians are in the house. <laughs> oh, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, Kyle. Do we play games? Do. No, nah, dude. Phil. I don't think we play games. Phil, Phil do we play <laughs> games? I don't think we yeah. play games at all. No, we. Of course we play games, man. Come on, we. <laughs> um, yeah. Dude, here I play Heroes. I play Call of Duty. I'm re- recently got back into Titanfall. Um, I'm all over Counter Strike, Global Offensive. Uh, uh, I can't, I can't play that. I just, I don't know. I I've can't. been playing since like 1.5. You know, that's yeah, my go-to game. That's, you know, that's that's impressive. I I must say that's impressive. I, my my friend um, texted me the other day and he's like, hey, so. Uh, what are you, what are the chances of you uh, finally getting CS:GO? I'm like, uh, zero. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, it's okay. It's it's awesome and fun with a good team. I'm like, it is okay, except when you suck individually, it doesn't really matter if you have a good team. You're just gonna suck. It's <laughs> like it's a first person shooter where you actually have to like really control your aim <laughs> to the point where it's like you you just gotta get it down. Yeah, you gotta. I don't know. I'm. I don't think the preciseness really got to me. I, I think it's just more of, the whole not aiming down sights, kind of hit oh, firing the right. whole thing. Yeah. Since I'm kind of like but a Call of Duty you know. hail person. <laughs> Welcome to the elite stream where sometimes we talk about games. <laughs> God damn it, Jay. Uh, I actually, um, now that you're all here, I actually want to throw something in chat. Uh, this is, this is for the whole community. We uh, actually have a Google page where, you know, of course, gamers come together. Put put your tags in there: Xbox, PSN, Steam, Battle.net, whatever. Get a team together. Add add people. Get a party going. Yeah. I mean, that's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. Community of gamers. Niles for miles, playing playing that Elder Scrolls, bro. He's, he's he's always on that Elder Scrolls. You know that's come out for Xbox One now, right? Yeah, yeah, it's out on consoles. Uh, they had they had so many problems. Yeah, well, the PC version was just like when it first came out, it was like unplayable for some people, and uh, hopefully it's doing better on consoles. I haven't heard anything like. Yeah, it too bad. It I've heard it was it took a lot away the better. subscriptions. Yeah, so now it's just a sixty dollar game. Yeah, it's free. That's that's a big thing. That's one yeah. of my selling points. I don't think I'd pay fifteen dollars a month for MMO. Oh yeah. yeah Furley. Thanks, Fairly. Thanks for that. But um, yeah, fifteen bucks a month for an MMO that isn't even working up to yeah. par with like WoW or something. Yeah, I yeah. Well, I mean it. I heard that it works fine right now. I'm sure Niles can confirm that it works fine, but yeah, it probably they were does just work good now. like the first two days that it dropped. Of course, there were server issues. Yeah, it just, nobody could get on. Hold on, what did he say? GXWK says, "What are your guys' opinions on Adolf Hitler?" Oh, well, well, we Hitler. just got into it. <laughs> so funny thing about Hitler. Uh, <laughs> Uh, mass extinction. Uh, not not a very cool guy. Um, he's. I'm not a fan. I'm no. really not a fan. Did Nightbot just delete your message? Am I gonna have to? Who did that? Who? I think it was one of the admins. Uh, guys, come on, come on. We diversify here. Ah. Uh, God damn it, Nightbot. Okay, you're gone. Nightbot no. doesn't like talking about Hitler. Night- Nightbot obviously does not like Hitler. I'm sorry, <laughs> Nightbot. Get out of here. We don't like you. Everybody say bye to Nightbot. 
Screw him. Daddy and I bet. Uh, Kyle, Kyle, when did you start to stream? Um, wow. That's... When did we? When did I start Elitecast, or when did I start streaming in general? Cause I think I started actually getting into streaming maybe like a year and a half ago. Yeah. You know, really off and on. You know, pizza guys taking all my time and shit. <laughs> yeah, but, but I mean, you streamed that, when you could. So yeah, I mean, we're on the episode nineteen now, so at least nineteen weeks of this thing, this Elitecast is amazing. Every Wednesday amazing um but yeah so who's seen jurassic world i have not seen it yet yeah i've been busy <sighs> but uh i heard it was pretty good yeah it's i'm gonna have to check it out it's a very good movie sure. it, you definitely a movie to check out um it's definitely a sequel they bring back some of the old characters right very, He's very like a scientist re- yeah bring, okay. um God, why can't I think? I always, like, every time I go to try to remember somebody's name, it just, whoosh, gone. <laughs> just gone. But, yeah, they brought back a couple um, characters from the first Jurassic Park. Uh, they completely ignored that second sequel that they did. Thank God. Good, good. Not, not the best movie, but... Um, Apparently, it topped box office charts. Really? Yeah. Even more so than... Um, what's the last one? That, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hear the Raptors are the best I from gotta, Kyle. Kyle here. Oh, I got... Oh, my God. The ra- <laughs> yes. Blue. Blue is the best Raptor. <laughs> it go, it's funny because it goes... It goes, um, it goes Alpha, Charlie, and then... Um, no, not Alpha. It goes... God damn it. it. goes Charlie, something, something, and then the random fourth one is named, like, Blue. Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just Blue. Why not? But, um... Golden Unicorn, welcome to the stream. How you doing? <laughs> uh, GXWK, come back. Come back! There we go. Is uh, Charlie, Delta... Blue and one more, one more, one more, one more. Somebody give me that name, please. <laughs> and why are you guys talking about sperm? That is not appropriate, but we don't care. We're talking about sperm whales eating mac and cheese. Oh, I mean, that's normal, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, it, it, doesn't it, everybody eat mac and cheese? I eat mac Every and living cheese. creature eats mac and cheese. Funny story about mac and cheese. You remember that Quick Mac? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. The first time I ever made Quick Mac, I was a little kid. And, of course, I forgot to put water in it. Oh. In a plastic bowl, heating for three minutes. That bowl melted so fast. Oh, my God. So Dude. fast. Is uh, I'm like, how can you forget the water? I, I, because I was a little kid. Oh. I didn't know what to do. All right. I probably didn't even read the directions <laughs> either. I'm just like... This smell. <laughs> All of a sudden, I even think the fire alarm went off too, and my, oh my and then my parents weren't even home, and they called the neighbor like, "Oh my god, go check on my son." Blah, blah, blah. Come oh, home to find out. Oh yeah. Uh, Freaking burn the bowl. GXWK. GXWK, come back. Come on, you followed <laughs> us, and then uh, I, did he leave? Did he actually leave? I think he's back now. He, I hope so. Say something. Say oh, something. Yeah. I could check if he's in here. Um, yeah. So, PS4. No, is, he's not here. Oh, he's not. Oh, 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 come back. Well, he's following, so he can always come back. Baby, come back. <laughs> blame it all on him. Uh, you can blame it all on me. Anyway. Uh, so, for those of you that haven't heard... Xbox One has released a new terabyte hard drive for their Xboxes, along with their new fancy controller that is on a $150 price tag. That's a lot of money for one controller. Have you seen that controller? They're, no, I've heard about it. It's it's basically, they're basically trying to emulate a scuff controller, 
but Ooh. with the new with the new Xbox One controller look, uh. they got two little paddles on the bottom. They have a trigger lock mechanism, so you can actually half press the trigger and Ooh. it'll still shoot. You know, for those for those you FPS pull game, it all the way back. Yeah, exactly. Right. But um, yeah, and of course. To compete with that, PS4 is now coming out with their own one terabyte gaming machine. So as always, PS4, Xbox, going at it. Head They're to always head. going at it. They always will. PS4, you know that means PlayStation just needs to come out of con- uh, with another controller, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like the PS4 controller. I think I don't know. I like it. Who? Wait, who is unbanned? Who is banned? You it's were, uh, GXWK. Ah, uh, GX... What, what do you Did mean? he get banned for talking about Hitler? What? what? Was that him to talk about? No, I don't think so. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Who did un- Who did ban you? Uh, what's... Mods. Ah, uh, bad mods. Bad mods. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. We're going to have to go into settings with all that. Oh, my God. Damn it, Nightbot! I swear to God, this is why this is why we can't have nice things. This is. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, GWX. I'm. Ah, Nightbot. How dare you? How dare you? Uh, you know. So, have you heard? Uh, Xbox is Xbox One is now working, looking to be backwards compatible. Oh yeah, I heard about that. That's that's gonna be that's a thing interesting. now. Um, but did when people make the switch, don't they kind of like sell all their games to kind of subsidize the price of the Xbox One? So who has all these Xbox 360 games still? I do. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I mean. If I made the switch and I knew there's no backwards compatibility day one, I would probably sell all my 360 stuff and then upgrade to the one. All right, GWX, I just unbanned you. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Nightbot is not coming back into this <laughs> stream ever. It's like uh, I got like chat right here. I mean, oh yeah, I, don't think I could really, just. I don't, I don't think need to lean forward every day. <laughs> Nightbot isn't really needed right now. Uh, but <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, what a great loyal viewer! Thank you. Yes, he is. He is. I like that. I like loyal viewers. Um. But yeah, I mean, so the whole thing is they're not. I guess they're not doing like an actual backwards compatibility, like a whole system change, of course. But they're actually putting in a 360 emulator. Really? Into Xbox Ones, which will, you know, That's play Xbox games. And what I think has to happen is you have to, um, since it's an emulator, you have to download the games manually. So um, can't just you, pop in the disc. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you're actually going to be okay. able to play with the disc or not. So wait, you have to buy it from the store. Oh. I hope you don't have to buy it. I really don't. I don't know. Uh, that would... Man, now that I... Now that I think about that, that would... I mean, if you got to buy your Xbox 360 games all over again, I mean, you know, going from 360 to 1... Oh, new graphics, yeah. It's the whole thing. And who just followed? See, GXWK <laughs> just said... Uh, you're actually able to download all your disc games digitally and then sell them. Oh, oh yeah. Really? Interesting. Golden Unicorn, uh, thank you for following. GWX, thank you for following on your other account. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Quite a bit of follows tonight. That's oh, good. thank God. Thank God you don't Getting have to rebuy, that 300. rebuy them. I know, dude. We're going we're gonna to get up there. We're going to get... Man. Yeah, get get that three hundred fast, and you know, one of you for those Xbox One players, uh, I do have a uh, Master Chief Collection download code for one of our lucky followers. So that's a thing, as well as whatever special thing we're gonna do on episode twenty. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty. Episode amazing. twenty is supposed to have some uh, crazy tricks up its sleeve. So. Yeah. 
What's going to happen? I'm I'm waiting for I'm waiting for those two kids to come in from uh, last week. Be like, start doing tricks. Oh, Stunt Stunt Meister, Meister kids. Stunt Meister kids. I miss oh, you guys. Boy. Come on, you guys actually made me do stuff. <laughs> not not that I'm not doing anything right now. Don't you know, get any ideas, guys. Please don't get any ideas. Um, a little bit of a Black Ops Three update. Mr. Uh, Philly Cheese just now watched the multi tri- multiplayer video. Yeah. How do you like it? It looked pretty good. I mean, uh, that suit with the Gatling gun for a hand was pretty interesting. Oh my uh, you know, it looked like um, it definitely had that Black Ops look to it, which uh, is you know welcomed. I mean, Black Ops oh did God, really well. So welcomed. So. I I just I know so many people that this is literally a make or break Call of Duty. Yeah. It determines whether or not they're just gonna I blame it on ghosts. Either exactly. Ghosts in it ghosts in advanced warfare just Yeah. Well it's cool now you can like run on walls, you know, oh, there's yeah. that element thrown in. For for those of you who are uh, familiar with Titanfall, it's looks like it's kinda gonna have that feel. Except maybe not so many hit markers. <laughs> you know, it's not gonna take half a clip of a carbine to kill somebody. But, uh, yeah, that's not gonna. No, that's not gonna be good. <laughs> Yo, get on top of that cat thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, I actually, I, I have a story about that. So, you climbed up on the cat thing. I didn't climb up on the cat uh, thing, but um, there was a party one time in my house. It was, well, it wasn't really a party. It was like one of those kickbacks, you know, like seven, eight people maybe. Yeah, a little kick it. My friend just got plastered. He didn't even drink much. He had like four shots of Jaeger. Light and light. Yeah. Not, not only four shots of Jaeger, but he had, um, what are them, Mike's Hard Lemonades? Yeah, people like, drink those. <laughs> people, well, this was like a year ago. All right. But he had a, he had like a pack of my card lemonade, and like four shots, and he literally, first thing, one of the first things he did, straight down my stairs, Superman style, on his belly, just, woo, <laughs> just going down my stairs, not even caring. Five minutes later, he's sitting on my cat post, just groping it, just hands all around you know he's got he's got his ass sitting there and he basically just falls asleep on the cat post like i'm not even kidding he falls asleep standing up and everything no well he was sitting down like right there so he was kind of like i don't know how it didn't hurt his ass that would hurt sometimes when you're that drunk (laughs) you just don't care i mean it it did take like three or four of us to get him to the bathroom which is pretty terrible. Kyle, like, Kyle, I'm drinking a Blue Moon. If that's if you're asking me what beer. Oh yes, he has a Blue Moon. I'm sitting here with a Corona. Corona, mi amigo. Mi amigo, yes, yes. But yeah, um, at least it's not Coors, right? Could be worse. <laughs> could be Coors. <laughs> it could be worse. <laughs> Could be a lot worse. Uh. So, for um. I actually, I'm actually really excited for this. Yeah. Have you heard of the new Batman? The new Batman game? The new Batman game. Yeah, I was watching our live streams, like, for the past two nights, is it now? Really? Yeah. Oh, it's Man so vs. Cool. Gaming just marathoned that. I, I just watched it, like, I swear it was, like, four hours. I watched I wanted, the first four hours. I wanted game. to That's buy great. it so bad. Like, I just wanted... I wanted to buy it, and I just wanted to stream the shit out of it. Well, don't buy it on PC. No. Because I think they suspended sales on PC. Yes. Because of all the glitches people are having. They Yeah, they actually straight suspended sales on PC because uh, it's... For whatever reason, I don't even know why, but it, it just doesn't... It doesn't have the graphic capabilities that they have on consoles. I mean, it's almost the same, but you can't make it... Like, there's no distinction between console and PC, basically. Mm. And, you know, of course, PC gamers are pissed about that. Uh, I would be, too, especially if I pre-ordered it. Yeah. Waiting to play this game, and now there's some glitch that... That's why you don't pre-order games, children. (laughs) Unless you're rich and 
If you like throwing around money, <laughs> it's a gamble. That's um, it's actually uh, speaking of which, you know they're coming out with a new South Park game too, huh? Oh yeah. Oh my God! That have yeah. you seen that trailer yet? Yeah, I have. Oh my God, this is so <laughs> funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you should yeah. pre-order this game because it's so cool. Shut up, butters. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, actually, make I mean it's so it's so funny South Park, you know they they make statements, you know they just they just laugh about themselves and it's it's so funny I just well yeah what do you mean <laughs> or whenever J Dog wakes up thanks J thanks <laughs> yeah, the uh, fractured butthole yeah. it's a interesting title I don't <laughs> think uh I've seen a video game with that kind of title. <laughs> in, a, in a really long time. Like, there, I mean, South Park's always punny. Like yeah. they, they have Matt it's and like, Trey Park. Like one of the first things they said when they finished the game is they will not be making the second one, and yet, <laughs> and then here they are, South Park, the fractured bow. <laughs> like, come on. You know, I haven't seen a game that funny since like Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Oh my god! Like, Speaking of which. For those of you who weren't here last week uh, for our E3 review, they are actually rare. The company behind Conker's Bad for the is actually coming out with a um, game pack of 30 plus old games for Xbox One. So you're going to be able to play games like Conker's Bad for a Day, Good. Battle Toads, Banjo Kazooie, you know. Pretty much everything made by Rare within the past couple years. That's good. I mean, I'm I'm just gonna get it for Conquer's Bad Fur Day as long. Oh yeah, the game's a classic. Yeah, as long as it's not like the. They have like next gen graphics. I don't. They're gonna know. update the graphics, or is it gonna be the same? I don't. I don't know. I I watched a I watched a review when they were playing Battle Toads, and it was kind of just like, it was kind of like one of those arcade feels. With right. it, like you know, kind of like a CRT TV with like uh, a little kind of like right. Battle Toads background kind of mm. thing, but that would be interesting. Diddy Kong Racing. Diddy That's Kong Racing. Good one. Yes. No, uh, Kyle, I did not actually go to E3. I wish. Too bad. I, oh my God! One day, one day we'll go to E3. A week we'll be at E3, and we will cover everything. It's gonna be great. What are your opinions on Jerry Sandusky? Isn't that the baseball player? I don't know. Should I look it up real quick? Yeah, probably. Google is our friend. Google is your best friend. Uh, that's what I think uh, about Jerry Sandusky. I have no idea who he is. Um, probably because I don't watch sports. I think he's um, he, he's some kind of sports coach, right? I want to say... Uh, convicted <laughs> convicted serial child molester and retired American football coach. <laughs> so um, okay, all right. So uh, basically, <laughs> he should get the hanging, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I think they should bring back like firing squads and like guillotines. Yeah, for a, for a lot of people, a lot of people just deserve that kind of like. I, I just don't get society. Like, hey, let's get out with the death penalty, but let's be okay with throwing someone in jail who <laughs> killed somebody else. Like, or you know, raping children. That's a pretty bad offense. Yeah, send it, send them to Afghanistan, dude. They're gonna get, <laughs> they're gonna, you're gonna get killed for killing somebody, dude. You get your hand I chopped off for stealing. Yeah. Like, come on. <sighs> like, let let's take some aspects of them. Maybe not so much the adultery kind of stuff, but because you know I, 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 I like my females <laughs> without marriage and commitment. So, so. anyways, <laughs> after that, uh, should we move on to? Are we done with the Batman I, news? Man, I don't. I was watching a lot of streams on that game, and it was great. Like the Batmobile looks so Dude, good. Dude, oh my. And I it can't... has the little combat mode where, like, the wheels kind of pop out. Oh, I saw that. Yes. I absolutely drooled while that was happening. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god. And they have the thruster in the back, so, like, you could just build up a ton of speed, hit a ramp, and then just land on a rooftop, start maneuvering around up there. You know, Niles, I would be so down for that, except I'm pretty sure nowadays you actually need an invite to E3. So, mm. 
more or less we need to get big enough to get an it, MIT. It's, it's not going to be easy to get a press pass. And no, all that. not at all. I mean, you can't just show up with a video camera and yeah. be like, what's up? But, um... <laughs> Oh, we man. got a straw poll here. Yeah, what, uh, do we need a straw poll right now? <laughs> but, um, yeah, when, when we need you it. We can. If, if we need it's it. It's there if we need it. But, uh, man, E3 would be great. Niles but, and Miles has a hookup on Comic-Con? Oh, really? Oh, I, I would love to go to Comic-Con. Who wouldn't? Speaking of which... Speaking of which, there's also a TwitchCon in September. Oh, their, San Francisco TwitchCon. Their first convention. And uh, <clears throat> birthday September 23rd. <clears throat> somebody should buy me a ticket. But, anyways, if somebody buys me a ticket or does it, I'm still going to go. I mean, it's TwitchCon. They're going to have some of the biggest broadcasters. It's there. everything Twitch. Everything Twitch. Like, who doesn't love Twitch? I mean, obviously, you guys are watching us. You <laughs> love Twitch. Yeah. We love Twitch. We All love streaming on Twitch. I want to get um, the Twitch, like, hoodies and t-shirts, but they sell out really quick. Yeah. In the Twitch store. No, that... I want to get my hands on one of those. <laughs> Dude, that would be so cool to have have an Elite Cast shirt or a Elite Ian t-shirt on <laughs> stream, you know, with the Twitch logo. Um... But yeah, un unbang. I actually completely agree with you. Like, you know, why why spend money keeping, keeping them alive, keeping somebody in yeah. jail who killed somebody else just to let them out, and probably they're gonna go do it again. <laughs> like, you know, just because you put somebody in jail for a while doesn't mean they're gonna, you know, oh my god, oh I was so wrong with my life. Oh, I should just rethink everything. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Like, no, that doesn't happen. <laughs> I'm sorry. As much as you want it, want to think that it happens, it doesn't. You put somebody in solitary confinement, they're just going to go crazier. Like, <laughs> you're going to get more insane. They're not going to get better. Yeah. It, as is the whole, the whole jail system kind of just... Seems like, let's throw you in an area where, like, you can network with other criminals... Yeah, exactly. But uh, Kyle Kyle said he would stream if his voice was as good as us American guys. You, I mean... Is, do we have good voices? Do we? I haven't heard myself recorded and played back in a long time. So I, I honestly I don't think... I I don't think I sound good recorded at all. Like I think you sound normal. <laughs> I mean... Jail is actually a pyramid scheme. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people that own the jails, I hear profit. I don't know if that's true. They, dude, they probably do. Because all the fees they have to pay. Yeah, I mean, the little fees that they do have to pay, and then they just pocket everything else. Like, come on. It's it's a broken system. It's a really broken system. But I, I honestly, I don't think, I don't think my voice is that good. Like, I honestly like people, I like listening to people with actual accents, you For know, me, like it's like as long as I can understand the person, as long as they're punctual enough and their voice isn't super annoying. There's actually a yeah. couple female live streamers where I'm just like, I can't even handle your voice right now. <laughs> can't even do it. Like, I would love to watch you stream like you're super cute, but your voice, I'm sorry. <laughs> me, 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 me. Yeah. <laughs> the, little, the little kids who play Minecraft. I'm a uh, I would never watch. <laughs> I would never even click on that. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Dude, that would actually be a good idea, you know, <laughs> having having the victim's family, you know, carry out the death sentence. That would, that would I think that would create some kind of closure, you know. I'll, it like, should be an option. It would give me a little closure, <laughs> you know. Just I'm not I'm not a very uh very. What was that movie medical. Hostile, where like they kidnap the person, bring them to a facility, and then the person tortures them? Is that I don't. Have you seen that movie, Hostel? I want to say I have. It it's sounds a, familiar. It's just one of those movies with over-the-top gore, and I think it fizzled out after a couple movies because they got cheesy or something. <laughs> you know, yeah, that. I I think that I think that's a plus with us Americans. A lot of us. Should we fake a low-key British accent? I mean, a lot of us can fake. I think without even trying sometimes I think some people can just fake a British accent without even trying 
maybe maybe Australian too, but what what's that little fact that Furley just gave us right there? California has built 22 prisons and just one University of California campus since the 1980s. The right? 1980s. What a quaint time. <laughs> <laughs> I love the 80s, mate. But uh, I actually saw something. Um, I actually saw something about that on Facebook, too. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's that's saying something right there. You know what's interesting? This just popped into my mind. Uh, I think it's some South American country. I think it's Colombia. And when you're caught with narcotics, instead of sending you to prison where you're just going to be strung out for however long you're there, they actually send the person to rehab mandatory, and they have to go through the program, and they're having way better results than the prison systems. Oh, every, I mean, everybody has better results than us. Like, <laughs> everybody. And I was actually um, reading a thing uh, about gun control the other day, which actually surprised the hell out of me. With as many guns per capita that Americans own, we're actually ranked 111th in gun murders throughout the world. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. It kind of kind of makes sense. Yeah. Sort of. I don't know. Some people are really against guns, but my whole philosophy is like, if you're going to be against guns, look at the current gun laws, especially in California. You know, there's innocent people never committed a crime. They don't even have a gun. But there's like some thug, you know, felon, not even supposed to have a gun, and he's got like 20 guns. Yeah. You know, all illegal. So... Yeah. It's just why take away guns from everybody when the people who aren't supposed to have them in the first place are gonna get them anyway. Yeah, that that's the other thing that I don't, I just don't agree with. You always, always putting the foot down on everybody for the actions of the few. Like mm. I don't, I just don't understand how that's logical in anybody's mind. Like, oh my God, this guy killed this person so I, I guess everybody and their mother is gonna go kill people now like no I'm, that's so not the, the way that's not the way people work. <laughs> oh, yeah. you remember that uh, you remember that prank where uh, people actually thought that like the purge was gonna be a thing really? for like a night someone actually fell for that yeah oh my god I think I think there were actually a couple of stores broken into too cause people were like Oh my god, it's a purge. We can do whatever we want. And of course, no. Nope, it doesn't happen. Yeah, I'm from Chicago, and there's some pretty bad crime, but it's all like gang. It's not like random people just hitting the streets, like purge style. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, we... Yeah. yeah, Detroit's really bad, too. Uh, uh, Unbang, yeah, I saw that. No, I would... I totally agree with you. Like, from a total non-revenge standpoint, I would just... It would just create closure. Like, yeah. bro, you you killed somebody that I hold dear. Like, it's like an option if you want to. Yeah. Then go or, or, you know, be a nice guy. I forgive you. Like that. That really fucks with people. It's the code of honor, right? It's it's not even honor. It's just like. It's more the like, if you. Like, wh- how would you react? Like, you killed somebody's friend, yeah. and somebody comes up to you and, like... It's like, you're forgiven? I you. Yeah, that would have a profound effect on some yeah. people. Like, I would just sit there, Definitely. like... I mean, of course you probably wouldn't do it to, like, some thug or something. Like, I forgive... No, I don't forgive you. <laughs> you're a little bastard. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. But, no, some some people would just be perplexed by that. Like, what? You just said, Let's what? See. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it really, it really can't, but yeah, that's true, exactly. Forgiveness can't bring somebody back, but neither can killing somebody else. Yeah. Like, cause I mean, if you, if you go, if you go kill the guy who killed your friend, like, I mean, bottom line is you're both killers. Like. That's that's what it really comes. Yeah, it kind of comes to. down to like who's better, like yeah, who's who's gonna be the better person. Yeah, but all right, 
it's just it's just a whole thing. Uh, let's get back into gaming for yeah, a sec. We're we're back going to gaming. we're, we're going away. Whew, we're digressing hella <laughs> bad. <laughs> so many tangents. <laughs> Welcome right. to the elite stream where we sometimes talk about guns and games. <laughs> Dude, we right, talk, should we talk about Destiny? We talk about everything right here. And yes, we're going to talk about Destiny. Let's talk I, about Destiny. Where are they going, man? Where are they... For those of you who haven't heard, Destiny is now coming out with, uh, I believe, their third DLC called The Taking King. Supposed to have a bunch of updates. Class updates, new powers... New multiplayer mode, uh, new guns, of course. I don't think they're going to actually come out with a raid for this one. Actually, no. They didn't come out with a raid for House of Wolves, but they are coming out with a raid for this one. But that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about what makes them think that... They're, they're trying to sell a whole different bundle now, basically. Yeah. On top of the $40 for DLC. So, you can either you can either buy the DLC for 40 bucks individually, or you can buy this whole complete package and get these new armor shaders and mm-hmm. everything and blah, blah, blah. You know, and people are pissed about that. It's the special edition in- incentive, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I think it's good for, like, let's say I just want to hop into Destiny. Because I've never played Destiny. I don't have an Xbox or a PS4. I'm pure PC gaming. And let's say I wanted to hop in. That would be a great option for me. But you, you have all the DLCs, right? You had the game since it first came out. Well, I don't, personally. Because I... Once they announced the first um, DLC, like... uh, I think I paid for the first DLC. But after the second one, where... You know, I kind of really realized that they're just forcing it on you, and yeah. if you don't get the DLC, the game is completely broken. <laughs> I was just like, nope, I'm yeah. I'm never touching Destiny again. All right, but that's where I went with it. Uh, that that's my personal take, but yeah, it's it's just like a kick in the face to those loyal fans. Yeah, the loyal fans should be mad, definitely. Sure. Sure, you can, like, take your copy back and put it towards the Ultimate Edition. You know, that would be cool and all, but the the fact that you would have to do that is just ridiculous. Why, what makes Activision and Bungie think that this would be a good idea? On top of the $40 individual price tag for the DLC. Which, by the way, does not affect, is not affected by currency at all. Mm. Not affected by currency. Furley's got a good point. Destiny's got to get their money back after 500 million investment. <laughs> you know what? They I they probably already do have their money back. Like it's it's not 500 even 500 million's a lot. I mean, between okay, one, the publisher is Activision. They're bleeding money out their asshole yeah. already. Two, Bungie is sitting behind them just like following a carrot on a stick like just like oh Activision tell me what Activision's to do next. Activision's probably just give them so much money. Yeah exactly and now they're now they want more money like is, is this where where are you going? Four hour campaign. Yeah where is the where is the stopping point where you're just like okay we actually want to appeal to the fans and not piss people off. And I honestly don't think there's ever been a point in Destiny <laughs> yet that has actually, you know, said that. Sure, you got a little, oh my god, you got a flipping sparrow. Oh my god, it's <laughs> so cool. You got a new armor shader. Like, yeah, but we have to, we're forced to pay for a DLC that would otherwise break the game if we do not pay for it. That is what That really, sucks. It's like... It's just... It's like the game developer saying, all right, here's a new DLC. By the way, you have to buy it. Exactly. You <laughs> have to buy it. Otherwise, you're not going to get your Nightfall bounties. You're not going to be able to uh, get your proper multiplayer bounties. You're probably going to be locked out from a bunch of new content. And it's just, 
it's bad marketing at the end of the day. Like, shit. It's just, yeah. Uh, it's just shady business practice. I don't. I don't know. Destiny is its own game, man. You know, there is ethics in marketing, and this, you know, yeah, it's just bad ethics. I mean, it's a good game. Don't get me wrong. Destiny is a very, very good game. It's just the way that they market it and the way that they're going about doing it is just completely terrible, in my opinion. And, I mean, coming, coming especially from Bungie, it's just like... Okay, is Bungie doing this, or are they being followed, are they being led by Activision, and they're just, you know, doing whatever Activision says because yeah. they're the publisher? That's, that's my consensus on it. But I want, I want Bungie back, man. I yeah, want the Bungie old was great. I remember the classic Halos. Yeah. Great memories. Why, why you give it to 343, man? <laughs> Did you see how bad they screwed up? Uh, MCC for like the first month. Yeah, was, wasn't it like you couldn't even play it online? Yeah, yeah, right? it's just like you you take fifteen minutes to get into a game and then like nothing. Yeah, and then <laughs> running you, around Blood Gulch. Yeah, you may like it's red versus blue. Exactly, <laughs> you might get on a team like four v four, or half the time it'd be like three v five or what? fucking two v four. Like, bro, like how do you not? How can you not pull over matchmaking from a previous game and just, you know, copy-paste? Because that would be easy. That would be easy. <laughs> of course. Of they course. They can't do it the easy way. I heard Battlefield Bad Company was in the works, though. That's yeah, another, exciting. That's good. That's, that's exciting. Good. You know, um, I was actually reading... There you go, cat. There you go. Put your hat on. Yeah, uh, he doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually oh, yeah. reading um, where EA EA was uh, pretty much admitting to the fact that they can't they can't go much forward anymore with the Battlefield really? series between as far as Battlefield Five goes and Hardline, uh. they can't go forward with it because honestly, I think. I think Battlefield is dying too. I mean, yeah, I heard Hardline did not do as well as anticipated. Not at all. It's like honestly, if I bought Battlefield Four season pass and everything, I would look at Hardline and be like, "Why did I just pay all this money for Battlefield Four, and you're gonna throw out a new game?" Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, and apparently, I I haven't played it personally yet, but it just, from what I've heard, it just doesn't it just doesn't stack up. I heard uh, Hardline just gets stale after a while. That's really what I've heard. I mean, all, all Battlefields kind of do, but... Hmm. I don't know. It's... I'm excited for Battlefield Bad Company 3. If... If it's anything like Bad Company 2... Charity streams. What's I going on, I kind of like it. That's weird. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Did you what, read it yet? what is this? What is this? One day when I was 15... No, don't read it out loud. <laughs> no, I'm reading this out loud. This oh. is fucking great. <laughs> one day when I was 15, I was masturbating when my parents brought home some goldfish. I couldn't control the semen and let it all go into the fish tank. <laughs> my parents were concerned when they saw pregnant goldfish with babies that looked like a mix between Jabba the Hutt and my Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. The struggles, man. I, I feel you. I feel you completely. Not so much my parents walking in on me masturbating, but the struggle is real, man. The struggle We all struggle. Is real. We all have our struggles. <laughs> oh man, but Bad Company Three, it's gonna be a th I I really hope it's gonna be a thing. I'm not gonna say it's confirmed yet, I don't because I really don't think it is. I just hope it's gonna be a thing. And on top of Black Ops 3, like, this is, I had my doubts this year about gaming, but after E3 and all these announcements, yeah. especially Batman, like, Batman just, looks like, really good. Exactly. I'm really just good. so excited for this year now. I'm really excited for Fallout 4. Oh my god. That's gonna be great. Fallout 4. 
Like, I'm going to fall off the face of the world, so I'm just going to be sitting there. You, you know, you the know there's um, there's special versions that actually come with the pit boy. With the pit boy. So you could put your smartphone yeah. in there with the app and yeah. just... Oh, that's going to be great. That looks so cool. Uh, I heard they already sold out of them, like, really? pre-order-wise. Already? Yeah. <laughs> they, wow. they So they did a sales wave, sold out of that, did another announcement a couple days later, sold out within a few hours. Everybody wants it. <laughs> Everybody wow. wants it. Like, it's a, it's a gaming device. It makes you And it honestly, makes you I think, you know, let's say, okay, one day you say, I'm done with Fallout 4 and you want to sell that little pit boy thing you could probably sell it on ebay no problem oh, because somebody yeah. else didn't get it so you could get a little bit of money back and from the, your fallout fall. that's probably totally gonna be me like i'm just <laughs> gonna get oh i want that pit boy it's just gonna like hang hang like right there on my wall just that i mean it's a it's a good thing they're trying to make it interactive yeah. and for those of you who haven't heard they're coming out with a uh basically like a construction system in fallout 4 so yeah not only are they refining the sps the fps fps aspect but it's gonna also have like a creative minecraft aspect to it too yeah and i like how you know fallout 3 and 4 had like all this junk laying around the wastelands and now you'll actually be able to break down that stuff to be able to craft you know a new base and defenses for your base and weapon upgrades. I, I think that would be cool. Yeah, that it's going to be great. That would be Pretty great. much. Uh, Kim, I, I'm going to go with Kimmy. I like that. Kimmy, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining. We welcome everybody here. Why are we still talking about goldfish? What? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you will be able to defend your goldfish in Fallout <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, speaking of Fallout 4 still, uh, for those of you who haven't heard, there's actually there's actually an app that I want to show you guys real quick, kind of on camera before my uh, phone dies. At 4%. Are you talking about Fallout Shelter? Fallout Shelter. Fallout Shelter. Fallout Shelter. This is, uh, I don't know if you guys can really see that off my it's screen. It's an HD cam now. Yeah. They can see it. Oh my god, they can see it. <laughs> it's real. Except the light's kind of like shining. So, it, yeah, Sorry, Fallout right. Shelter. Unfortunately, it's only for iOS right now. Um, they're coming out with an Android version very soon. Really? It's not for Android? Uh-uh. Uh, unfortunately. I will investigate <laughs> right now. Yeah. They, they said it was going to come out next month. But they might be pushing it faster. Really? So, um, I'll definitely... Why does the iOS always get special attention? I don't... Well, because everybody and their mother has an iOS. <laughs> Look at that. There's an actual app for a countdown for Fallout 4. <laughs> countdown for Fallout <laughs> Is it, is it the top to app? Oh, you know what? Fallout Shelter is not on... The Google App Store. Yeah, it's not on Android yet. But you could get a countdown for Fallout 4. If that's like your thing. I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna check it on an app. <laughs> How many days left? How many? Hey, rip to your dog phone. <laughs> oh my God, but yeah, Fallout Shelter is, you know, it's, it's one of those resource gathering kind of things, you know. You basically build your own vault. You get people coming into your vault. You build different rooms to generate different resources. You assign your dwellers to, you know, you know specific tasks. Yeah. To uh, help the you know little civilization survive. Yeah, and it yeah. you know it makes your resource resources come out faster. You know you need food and water for your dwellers, and then you need power for your rooms. And then oh you kind of yeah. Thank you, Kimmy. Thank you for the follow. For following. We appreciate it. Of course we appreciate it. So many followers tonight. So many followers. I've watched I love it. some past broadcasts, and I don't think I saw as many followers. No, huh. definitely not as many. We're, uh, well, we're getting closer to 300. That's well, all that matters. You know, grant, granted that uh, I never... I This is actually the first time that I've actually had the Twitch Awards working within uh, <laughs> a week cast. I've I've actually grown to love it a lot a bit, but 
You know, I know, I know. It takes a while for the follows to come up. But Elite cast thank every you Wednesday, guys. every single. It's nine Wednesday. o'clock now. No longer eight. Is it nine o'clock? Oh, oh no. No, they're we, starting. We started at nine o'clock. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay, <laughs> I was like, "What do we start?" <laughs> oh, it looks like oh. Fallout Shelter is crashing. It has a crashing. Really, problem. it's have crashing you had, for you. Have you had issues? I haven't. Um, I mean. I haven't had it crash on me, but, you know, that could also be because I kind of just go in, get my resources, and then close the app so uh, my battery doesn't die. Yeah. But uh, another bug that actually kind of pisses me off is you can get special dwellers within the game. They have special stats. Oh, uh, yeah. And... Um, Don't you have to unlock them from a card you were saying earlier? Yeah. You yeah. could either unlock them from a card or find them in the wasteland. Which you can actually, so you can send your dwellers to the wasteland to basically go get equipment and stuff. But, so, um, blah, 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 what was I saying? Woo! Anyways, <laughs> you can have, you can basically have people within your vault, you know, mate and have kids, you know, get people pregnant. But, oh, yeah. but, you, if you get a special. If you get a special uh, character pregnant, one which is actually I unlocked, Doctor Lee, she's been pregnant for four days, <laughs> and it's usually about a five-hour turnaround period between pregnancy and having a child. Yeah, <laughs> I, I definitely think there's a bug on that. Either that, or you know. Did she, she say just, you needed to build a new room so there's more room for people? Oh, uh, yeah, I finally built that. Oh, okay. But, I mean, I'm still going to need more. It's ever-growing. I got a, I got one of those radio centers trying to bring people in. Oh. So, but the only... I mean, it could be a bug, but it also could not be because I'm kind of thinking that the higher the stats of people mating together, the longer it takes for pregnancy... Because I also do have another special dweller who's uh, really good at uh, agility, whatever. Uh, and Dr. Lee is the intelligent person. Mm. So I had them, you know, get <laughs> together. Hopefully. Hybrid those today. Yeah, hopefully creating some, like, power, like, intelligent, fast cooking, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. But, I, I mean, like I said, it's been four days and she's been pregnant. <laughs> like, I don't think this kid's coming out, man. <laughs> which, which is J Dog? I'm J Dog, man. I'm J Dog. Philly cheese, J Dog, Philly cheese. We love it. <laughs> uh, different time zone friends. You know, we love people from different time zones. It just, it just makes it, yeah, makes it more enjoyable. Even time zones all across the world. You know. You know. I always, the thing I like about different time zones is I always have somebody to play with on Xbox. Exactly. I, it's, it's been, back when I used to stream GTA 5, back in, like, <laughs> I used to be addicted to it. Me and my friends would play till 2 a.m. We'd be oh, streaming yeah. it. And then all the Europeans would come yeah. in and be like, oh my God, GTA 5, what are you guys doing? <laughs> like, Dude, like, shouldn't you guys be asleep? No, we're from Europe. Oh. I remember on Modern Warfare 2, once it hit, like, 2 o'clock in the morning, all the Russians would start flooding the servers, and your ping would go down oh the toilet. Oh, my God, yeah. And everyone's speaking Russian, and you're just like, huh? All right, whatever. I just, uh, <laughs> it's yeah. Like, I, it's crazy. That was a thing. Yeah, exactly. I just Looks like you need more living quarters for your I vault. do. I, what I actually need to do is I need to connect all mine so they're more... Um, cause I have, I have like a, I have two living quarters next to each other and then I have a single one on the other side, which is very inconvenient and not productive at all. So I, I may need no to do some remodeling. <laughs> Nobody's that's, making That's the creepy one that no one wants to go into. <laughs> it's the room with all the spiders <laughs> and all that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually, so for those of you who played, who put play, played? Who played Diablo three? Hey, don't hate on us Diablo three players. I don't hate on Diablo three. I remember players. when you used to grind a lot. I used to grind Diablo three like <laughs> it was 
nothing. Yeah. It was my own. We've all life. been there. We've all been Everybody's there. Everybody's been there. <laughs> People are still there, bro. Yeah. People are so there that they stream, walk away for an hour, and they have like 50,000 legendary sitting on the ground. Uh. They don't even have to touch anything because they have so many good stuff. So, so many. So many good things is what I was trying to say. That That's the sentence I was trying to formulate. But with this new update, um, of course it's not out yet. This is the public test realm update. So for those of you who, you know, like playing in the public test realm before it actually hits the streets, for lack of a better <laughs> term, we're going to, I guess we're going to see a new zone. A new one. A new zone called Ruins of... Well, okay, I'm sorry. I'm probably going to butcher this, but the ruins of Cetrion? Se- no, that's not it's in Cetrion. Se- Cetrion. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the ruins of Cetrion. <laughs> the ruins of Cetrion. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, um so they're coming out with the new new zone. There for those of you who remember the art of the uh, Herodric Cube artifact from Diablo 2, they are now coming out with what they call the Kaonis Ka- Kaonis? Kaonis Cube, which I guess is basically supposed to work the same, except, of course, like, it's gotta be better. The, One can only hope. One can only <laughs> You know, with Diablo and Blizzard, you never know. But uh, apparently, what you're with this cube, you're actually gonna be able to take passive abilities off of legendaries and permanently put them on your character. What? Yeah. Wow. Uh, I wonder how many they'll let you do. Yeah, per it's, character. It's gonna be because that's pretty OP. Like, there's some legendary attributes that like are game changing okay like you'll grind for hours for that one so with that in mind they're putting in new difficulty levels so torment <laughs> 6 is not the most T6. badass level you know anymore. what i was watching this uh stream with some of the d3 developers and they said that um they really don't like where the greater rifts have gone they think it was like a complete fail on their part so I think this is uh, their answer to that? I mean, it could be. I don't think they were too bad. Uh, I mean, of course they were. They were easy. Uh, They're easy until you get to, like, 40s. Yeah. And then it's just ridiculous for for me. And, and of course, the facts... The... Guys, I apologize. (laughs) I cannot talk tonight at all. Get it together. (laughs) Get it together, man. Uh, but I think so, solely due to the fact that it was kind of broken in the aspect of you can just do a level one rift, upgrade your ring, oh, go yeah. out, the do another one, just upgrade your gem yeah, like it yeah. was nothing. Like you didn't, you technically didn't even have to do a rift, great the a uh, rift greater than level one. Yeah, you could just keep doing level ones over and over, and I mean. Yeah, you can do that, but if there's some pretty good loot, like, once you get, like, to, like, I would say, greater lift level 30 and up, you get pretty good drops off oh, the yeah. boss. But before that, it's like, you're just wasting your time running through, really. Oh, Unless right. you're just upgrading Keystone every time. Yeah, exa- exactly, Jay. The, I mean, wizard, demon mm-hmm. hunter, monks, I mean, that combination are combinations are just Endless. gonna be insane I mean especially especially taking passive off passives off legendaries I'm gonna try to focus on my talking right now cause this is say that three times fast <laughs> focus on my talking <laughs> focus on my talking focus on my talking focus on my oh man but yeah our facial hair no I am so ready for what's distracting dive. about our facial hair because it's so sexy, so dude. manly, so sexy. Everybody, everybody <laughs> likes the facial hair. Yeah, we, we wouldn't be us if we weren't sexy as shit. Like, hey, you know, sexiness uh, is part of the game for us. It comes naturally. Uh, no, <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, oh, I just noticed I kind of put that out of order. So I'm actually going to jump to the Heroes of the Storm PTR update since we're talking all about right, updates. Right. Staying on the Blizzard it's updates. A, staying on the Blizzard side. Of course, uh, Heroes of the Storm dropped their own uh, PTR updates. For those of you that don't know, there is a new map coming. What's up, Rainbow Dash? Rainbow Dash! Welcome! Thank you for coming to the stream. Hope you enjoy yourself. Uh, Fire Max. Thanks for coming out. Thank you for coming out, man. We'll be here next week, next Wednesday, same time, same place. Twitch.tv slash Elite Entertainment. Well, ENT, but you know, it's a, it's a, it's a thing. Yeah. It's a thing. It's but probably gone by now. A though. new Heroes of the Storm map. I I personally am ready for this cuz the new map is actually Eternal Conflict, which is a uh spin-off basically of Diablo. Okay. Um so it's going to have ah uh, what was that? What was that? There was a certain map on Diablo that basically looked exactly like this new map. But basically what it's going to be is... It's basically going to be the ongoing fight between Good and Evil, Diablo and Tyrael, blah, okay. blah, blah. Like, the whole map, half the map is light, half the map is dark. Okay. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's going to be like the Higher Heavens versus Hell? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And That's interesting. I, I guess like I guess they're somehow introducing treasure goblins into this map, so you're gonna yeah. have like a roaming treasure goblin as an objective. Okay. I mean, talk about screwing with the meta, guys! Come <laughs> on, Blizzard! We're just now we're just now getting down the the meta for everything else, and now you're throwing this new map at us. Maybe they don't want there to be a meta. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at League of Legends. It's just like a strict meta nowadays. It, it really, and it really is. Maybe Blizzard doesn't want Heroes of the Storm to go the same way. I, <laughs> I mean, there, yeah, like there still isn't an actual meta in Heroes of the Storm. Like every single map, you, every single map, you could do something different. Like there's never, there's never a set. Two one two like League of Legends like you could you could run a one three one or you know like Haunted Minds where there's only two lanes. I love running a four one four top oh, one yeah. bottom, just crashing that for as fast as you can for your golem. And if you do that, most people don't know if you do it correctly. If you do the four one meta correctly. And get your golem up to max. Like you just completely decimate in mines. Yeah. And your golem's the best. And all five of you push with that golem at least twice. You're going to have a 12 minute game easily. OP. Maybe less. It's it's quite ridiculous. And actually. miles for miles. I wish I, I wanted to play brawl mode in Hearthstone. But I don't have a level 20 character. I'm still like level 19 on my priest, so I gotta do a little grinding, and then I will definitely be enjoying some brawl mode. I really like the idea that like. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the facial hair. It's it distracting is, us. It is. I like I like stroking my own facial hair. Yeah, I, when I'm thinking, I'll go and do a little chin scrub. I actually <laughs> shaved like it used to. It used to. It used to be like Phil's, like, at least on the side. I like the full beard. And my well. Yeah, you well, you rock I'm, the goatee pretty good though. Do I? Yeah, uh, I kind of yeah, yeah. It's well, it's, it's not right. a full goatee right now. It's the mustache and the yeah. Chin. I I got rid of the mustache and the side stuff, but it used to. This used to be a lot longer. I used to have sideburns like all the way down to my jawline. Oh, I'm, really? Yeah, really? And I used to have really long hair too. I think I don't. Isn't that your picture on your? Uh, Driver's license? Yeah. Oh, your yeah. Sideburns all the way. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen it? I've seen it, dude. <laughs> yeah. I know exactly that was what you're great. talking about. That was great. Back when I could be all dirty looking, now I have to be all clean cut. Oh so. man. But yeah, um, oh. so not only they're gonna have a new map, uh, but what one thing that's actually actually got me is they're not releasing the butcher in this ptr update which kind of kind of makes me sad in a way but then again i'm kind of happy because 
they're gonna you know they're working on it you know they're refining the butcher they don't want to throw new characters out there before they're ready oh and yeah that was another thing that totally screwed thank you for the follow rainbow dash thank you for the follow you are amazing thanks bro remember to come back Appreciate next week it. we're always here i'm always streaming off here he's probably going to be streaming off here too sometime <clears throat> what <laughs> But uh, another Hopefully. another Hopefully thing, I was just what? So my whole team was ready for the butcher. We were really? ready for the butcher. We were mm-hmm. ready for the new map, but we, we thought cu- only because we thought he was going to be a warrior. We thought he was going to be a melee warrior, and you know he was just going to be one of those tanks doing all the moves that he did in Diablo. Come to find out, a week later. Oh my god, Bushard's gonna be a melee assassin. <laughs> what? <laughs> like this fat butcher with a cleaver and all melee this AOE. Assassin. Yeah, AOE they gotta keep damage. you guessing somehow, man. I mean, it def- it definitely fucked with our minds. Like, <laughs> we were sitting there for at least two games. We are just like, bro, the butcher's gonna be an assassin. Like, how are we gonna deal with that? Like we were, we were seriously looking for another warrior character, and they just Blizzard just like nope, nope. We're gonna make an assassin, but I mean, you know, if it's a good male assassin, I can't, I can't complain. Of course, uh, they're coming out with, you know, they're always updating their art, uh, their. That art in that game is just... It is a good-looking game. Oh, my God. Just so amazing. And you're running it on Ultra, so... I mean, I think uh, when I first sat down here and you started playing, I was like, wow, that's actually (laughs) really impressive. Heroes of the Storm. I was very impressed. I love it. Uh, Ah, Kimmy likes my facial hair. (laughs) Uh, We got fans, man. We got fans. But, so, one of the things... That uh, is kind of a downer for the PTR update. Is they're 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 only going with the f- with four maps: Battlefield of Eternity, Sky Temple, Tomb of the Spider Queen, and Cursed Hollow. Which is basically the only reason is so they can um, basically make sure Battlefield of Eternity is in the PTR map rotation. All so right. you're not going to be able to play all the original maps on the PTR Rome, but you know the new map will come up more often. So I, I mean, it's a good thing. I kind of like playing Haunted Minds myself, but you gotta break in the new map. You gotta break in the new map. You do, and just oh my god, I just can't get over just. Every update they're coming, they're refining their art. Whether it's Good. whether it's the skins, whether it's just the little tiny icons, is <laughs> they just the make icon. that game look so good. And I mean, here's the storm, guys. Speaking of art and like good looking art, should we mention that pixel art? Oh my god, guys, guys! I think it's very impressive. We have. I if think like there's a art, new record. Is... We have. Possibly a new record. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna. There's a, a PTR realm for Blizzard, but there is a new record for Minecraft pixel art. <laughs> one million one hundred twenty-eight nine hundred sixty blocks, and this art looks more than amazing. Go check it out. It's, Guy has a YouTube video on yeah. him finishing it, and. Oh my god, I just... So impressive, like... The things people can do with Minecraft, dude. I know, it's really limitless, it's just your imagination is the only limitation, and that guy must have spent so long doing all of those, because <laughs> it's all hand-built, just block by block. I, I just... I just can't wrap my head around the fact that of, you know, you gotta, you gotta, one, visualize it, yeah. two, scale it out, Three, just know how to play as a block by block yeah. by block. 
And this picture is so well done. If one or two blocks are out of place, it's just going to look kind of weird. Yeah. But, no, this... It, it kind of looks like... It, it looks like a mix between, like, StarCraft and Diablo art. It's just... Like, doesn't that look like Kerrigan? Yeah, that, that looks... That looks so much like Kerrigan. And then Di it looks like Diablo's over there in the corner. I... I mean, 1,128,960 blocks to make this art. And it looks amazing. It looks absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I encourage you guys to check that out. You know, go, go support the streamer who made it, because he deserves it. He put so much time into it. Yeah, it must have taken... I don't even know how long, but oh. that must have taken so... It probably took months... Yeah, yeah, months upon months, maybe, maybe, maybe not if it was like t if he did it like twenty four hour, twenty four seven kind of thing, not sleeping, maybe. That's some sleeping. dedication. <laughs> <laughs> sleeping for three hours. Uh, oh, what was that South? Oh man, that South Park, the World of Warcraft South Park episode. <laughs> if we stay in the forest, killing boars. <laughs> oh, yeah. We will be level Just 16 grinding. in 72 weeks, 22 <laughs> hours, <laughs> and that leaves us three hours of sleep per night. <laughs> that's all you but need. That's all you need, man. But uh, what's up, cat? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? It's cat. Yeah. It's intense yeah. right now. Yeah. All right. Yes, I talked to my cat. Let's bring back up, uh, let's get rid of the dashboard. You know, on the... Because that delay is driving me nuts. <laughs> uh, is it <there> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, as, I guess since we're on the, uh, you know, the flow of updates, I guess, there's a, there is a new Lee character coming out, which is actually pretty, pretty interesting. Um, talk about screwing with the meta for different games. I think I just you have to watch this for yourself. So his Q is basically like you know it's a ranged it's a ranged lick attack. He looks like a giant frog man. Yeah. And um, what? So he does he does that. He hits people with the. Frog. It looks it looks interesting. Blah blah blah. You know. Is he wearing a suit? Yeah, he's wearing a suit. It's <laughs> That's a classy. giant. It's a giant frog wearing the a fucking suit. Champ yet. Oh, and so the lick actually brings people towards you, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. uh, his W ability is actually pretty interesting. <laughs> what he can do is he can actually basically eat a different character, like straight up. Like gobble a char uh, allied character and just walk him around, you know. So um, he kind of just like kind of takes kinda, damage for them in some situations. Well, it, I I mean it could it could kind of be a save, but it could kind of like you know it could be offensive as well. So you could either save teammates or just be like, ha, I'm just gonna chomp your health down, ram ram ram. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna be interesting. Uh, I think. I honestly think they're taking this from uh, Blizzard personally because oh, really? uh, with stitches you can actually have an engorge ability where you can, uh, you know, eat people. So uh, they're, it seems like they're going that way. But of course, uh, he has his own personal bubble shield too. So he may be a support character, may not. And then. Uh, his ultimate ability looks pretty much, it's just basically, it looks like a teleport, but you can also bring a teammate with you, so you're like... That's uh, interesting. Yeah, so you're now, like... you know, you could use that offensively, like, surprise, it's me and a teammate. Yeah. Fernandez, welcome to the stream. How you doing, bro? What's up, Fernandez? How's it going? But yeah, that, um interesting so like you could just basically bring somebody to a team fight with you <laughs> yeah, like that's pretty good uh 
I don't know how far the teleport is. I mean, if it's like a global teleport, it's probably going to be OP as shit. Yeah, I mean, the lane ganks, because not one champ, but two just showing up out of the blue. <laughs> yeah, that's, like, that's what's up, good. dude? Not, and, you know, put Rek'Sai on that with his uh, tunnel ability. Oh. You know, have him tunnel across the map. You easily have a three-man gank without even thinking about it. So definitely, definitely a league. Uh, that would be good to take down those super fed players where you're probably going to need at least three people to take down one guy because yeah. he's so fed. Yeah, that's actually, so, that's actually that's a good, good point. I like that. So, I mean, everybody's screwing with the meta, man. Come on. <laughs> people having good ideas. Stop having good ideas, man. We Consistency is okay sometimes. <laughs> but... Man. So I guess that pixel art took 23 and a half weeks. Really? Yeah. I guess it says it in the article, but we just skimmed that pre-stream. Really? I didn't even see that? Oh, my God. Um, Fernandez, pretty... we're talking about a lot of things. Dude, yeah, we're talking about a lot of things. We're actually... If you want to talk about something specific, go ahead, type it in chat, let us know. We, we're actually just talking about the new league character, which you can check out on that link right there. Talking about, talking about breaking the meta, man. Come on. <laughs> Redefine the meta. You know that's what that's what keeps games going, though. That's what really keeps games going. Uh, so I also heard, well, not heard, but I've been reading about Activision thinking of doing remastered Call of Duty. Oh, okay, I heard a little bit about that. Um. Are we talking about the original Call of Duty? I I think they're I think they're looking at a Modern Warfare Two remake. That's interesting. Uh, I mean with. Because I played a lot of Modern Warfare Two. With the new Black Ops Three coming out, coming out, is it really gonna be worth it? Hmm. Are people gonna really? It might choose? be a good fallback plan if Black Ops Three doesn't do as good. But I don't know. I mean, hashtag believe the hype, right? <laughs> <laughs> hype train has pulled in the station. It's coming. Fernandez, we are doing great tonight. Uh, we are actually... I think we're getting close to wrapping up, actually. Um, unless you guys have a lot more to talk about. But, of course, I got one more topic after this. Um, but, yeah. Our Call of Duty model... I would actually... That's something I could probably actually invest into is the Modern Warfare 2 remake uh, for That's Xbox One. It it would be, especially especially with the new controller. The $150 not, one? Not, not, no, not the oh, new. Oh, the new, new Xbox One controller. The Xbox One controller. All right, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's so, it's so sleek compared to the 360 controller. Mm. And those who do buy the Elite Xbox One controller, like, tell me, like, we want to know how it is. We really do. Uh, well, bet five three five four. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Thanks, <laughs> so, thanks, Fairly. <really. laughs> you know what? We're all being on that hype train. Uh, uh, what was that last one? Wow, I can't. Titanfall, dude. Oh, hello, Shempire. No, Titanfall had that um, had that hype train for sure. What? With Titanfall? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which Huge. arguably, arguably, I think, actually boosted the sales for Xbox One. Yeah. When it first came out, like people were like, Titanfall looks so sick. It's gonna be an Xbox One exclusive. Yeah. I think that was the major selling point for a lot of people. I want to welcome uh, Senpai GXWK, Jello. Hey, welcome back. Nico, what is up? Unbang, welcome back. We miss you, man. Don't leave us again. Come on, man. It's Don't. unbanned. <laughs> Don't leave us, man. Your, your other account is unbanned, by the way. Um, Really? You, elite Xbox controllers will beat out Scuff. You, you think so? I don't know. I, I mean, know. it's got defend a, your opinion. It's got a lot more uh, versatility, I would think, uh, than really? the actual scuff controller. But 
I don't know. Because the scuff, the scuff only has, I think, two programmable buttons. I could be wrong. And, of course, the Xbox One Elite controller has all these paddles and trigger locks and everything. So, I don't know. I don't know. It might, it might be able to. But I think I think Scuff will definitely stay on top at least for a while. Oh just because yeah! Of uh, I love that sound, <laughs> Fernandez. Fernandez, thank you. thank you for following. <laughs> we are seriously on a follow train right now. Yeah, we have gotten a lot tonight. I oh my god, I'm. You know, I got Twitch alerts up, but yet I don't have. They they have a uh, their own thing where you can actually track. How many followers have followed you during the stream, oh, okay. etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. I'm actually kind of regretting not having that up right now. <laughs> but I mean, the follow hype train is real. Thank you guys, everybody, for following. Man, we just we we're going down in the in the viewer list, and now we're coming back up. Yeah. Going down to five. Thank you guys for coming in and out. Uh, unbang! I hope you bang the fuck out of whoever you bang. <laughs> Sex don't, break. don't, don't unbang the bang, man. <laughs> so, have you seen Forza Six? Forza Six. Oh my God, Forza Six looks yeah. gorgeous, bro. Oh man, not only, not only do the car like the cars always look gorgeous. Oh yeah, well, but racing the, game. I, I heard they're trying to put emphasis on each individual track. Like, they literally they literally sent somebody out to every track at different times of the day, you know, basically to get every single condition. Like, they yeah. replicated puddles. So they're putting in tons of data from the real-life track. Oh, yeah. All right. Like That's good. Apparently, they're, they're on it, man. I haven't seen any uh, video on, like, the actual tracks, but... I feel bad. I should of look course, up some Forza Six right now. Of ago. course, the cars look amazing, dude. I just I can't even. <sighs> just everything graphically just looks amazing this year. And you know the division, Battle Star Wars Battlefront, uh, Rainbow Six Siege, like Fallout Four. Everything is just is beautiful, man. The new Batman, oh my god. The first time the first time that I watched the Batman trailer when, um, uh, I think it, it was either the trailer or gameplay where he just takes a Batmobile, just skids it the sh fuck oh, out. Oh yeah, I remember and that And jumps trailer. out and the smoke looks amazing. Yeah. You know, you just, Batman's just floating there like, oh my god. I just, I just can't. I just I'm can't watching get the Forza Six the trailer right now, and that is dope. Oh my god, it looks <laughs> it looks so amazing. I love it when they pay like precise attention to detail in these games, because that's really what makes it. Because you're not looking at a ton of things; you're just staring at the car and the track, and then everything else is kind of like yeah, speeding right. past you. But uh, this is looking. You good. know, they're coming out with a new Need for Speed too. Like, look at that. Yeah, and I like. When you could actually see the steering wheel and your hands doing yeah. the movements. So basic so ten eighty P sixty FPS, that's gonna be nice. Yeah, they're paying so much attention to detail, you can literally hydroplane your car in this game. Yeah. Like it's gonna be a thing. You run over a puddle, your wheels are gonna spin, dude. So I mean rain, snow, you know it's, it's gonna be amazing, man. I mean, just looking, just looking at those graphics, just look. That little accident at the end was pretty dope. Yeah, September fifteenth. Um, I might have to check that out. September fifteenth, yes. Quote very close to the Mad Max release. Oh, the Mad Max game. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's actually coming out, I believe, September first. Actually. Ooh. Either uh, the first or twelfth. Couple games to check out in September. Yeah. But um. Yeah, I mean, Mad it? Cats controller. Remember <laughs> Mad Cats? Oh my God, <laughs> Mad Cats is making a comeback. Have you seen Have you seen those uh, gamer videos where they they basically make fun of people who had to use? Oh yeah, don't worry, I have I have another controller. 
Bro. <laughs> this is Mad Cats. <laughs> what, what, what are you trying to pull? Are you trying to say you're bad at video games or something? Like, <laughs> he's going through the video. He's playing with his friend. He's like, bro, the stick is stuck. Yeah, yeah, you just got to wiggle it a bit. <laughs> bro, yeah. the, the That's like the button. me down control. Yeah, exactly. He's like, bro, the Y button doesn't work. Yeah, yeah you got to gotta press it a couple times. Like, <laughs> fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> like, he's just, I, they just, I mean, it was a good idea to make new controllers, but they just, I don't I don't think they put their time into those controllers at all. Mad Cat's like you know, hats off to you for trying, but it just didn't work. Nico What? I I don't know, he just said He my just name. says hey, your name and he just what? <laughs> <laughs> Um I I agree though, first and second wave probably will be bad. Um that would be, I don't know. It's if if it comes to that, you know, if they start coming out with bad versions of controllers like they do with games, you know, it's just gonna be a whole thing. Like, oh, you gotta you gotta download a day one update for this controller. Like, really? For a controller yeah. day one update, man. Uh, apparently, uh, what they're doing is you can now. Uh, update your controllers wirelessly now instead of actually having to physically connect it to your Xbox via mini USB. So I guess that's a thing too. But I mean, is it really going to make it better? I, mean, I don't know. I I don't know. Xbox doesn't even remind you to re to update your controllers, so you kind of like, "Oh, my Xbox mic doesn't work. I guess I should update. <laughs> like, it's kind of like that thing. Uh, four other people can help. What four other people? Wait, what? The Internet Cafe? Wait, what? There's four. What? Are these investors? Wait, what? <laughs> we. Who? For what? Who? What? Who? What? Hi? What? Okay, you have my interest. Nico, you have my interest <laughs> right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, you should finish talking about that and text me after this podcast because I'm uh, all ears right now. We're going to make this happen. And like I said, if it, if it happens faster than anticipated, like, oh my God, I'm going to be so ecstatic. I've uh, I've told a couple people that if if Elite isn't tour isn't at least making some kind of profit by September, I you know I failed you guys at some point. Like really, <laughs> like failed. You could only just try harder, right? Not, I mean not yeah. I mean I just I just think after after this month and a little bit of last month. All this, all this stuff that's been happening, you know, getting a week cast going here, you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm still getting beta keys from sep from other games, from other companies. Now, now. we're getting bliz Blizzard, points. Blizzard Hearthstone points. So like, I mean, all this good news that's happening, it's, it's gonna be really sad to have a setback, but I mean, setbacks it, happen, but setbacks happen. I only see good things happening. I mean, we're we're elite entertainment. We're only we're only as good as the community makes us. You guys are really what drives us. Honestly, without yeah. without the gamer community, it's the community, without you guys, I mean, we wouldn't be here. I mean, we wouldn't we wouldn't be here at Elite Cash. You guys wouldn't be watching us at all. We wouldn't even be a thing. Yeah. So I mean, let's, let's take this moment right now. Just thank everybody everybody who's joined the facebook group everybody who's joined discussions watched a week cast followed the stream followed my personal stream followed phil's stream you know mm. just donating your time to creating a better gaming community hats off like we we couldn't have done it without you guys and thank you for creating it and really just not quitting I'm just going with it. 
I mean, I, I'm a I'm a modest guy, but you, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm extremely a, modest. I, ex, extremely <laughs> modest, but I mean, I I I really I like to see my work. I, oh yeah. Like everybody, you know, does. come to fruition. I've been to the point a lot of times, mostly mostly due to the fact. All right, let me rephrase that sentence. The reason the reason why I've taken so long to get elite started is because, you know, I've started old projects and you know just not gone through with them. And this is, this is something that actually gets me going. You guys, you guys make me want to, you know, put time into doing this, research stories, do news sections, do a week cast, stream a lot more, you know, get new co-hosts, like, I, I mean, I'm sure Mike will be back when he can make it, thank you again, he probably won't, <laughs> he probably won't, My, Mike's on my bad list right now, but, I mean, you know, him being a gamer, we can't really hate, you know, he's not here, he has his own stuff, it doesn't Still matter, he'll do his own stuff, but... He'll do his thing. We'll do us. Hey. We'll do us. Um, bu- 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 the bu- Gamers bu- Dynasty. My help. It's in the Bay Area. Also, name we agreed on is the Gamers Dynasty. You know, um, actually, um, it's funny that you mentioned a uh, name. Uh, what, but, yeah, I would be done. Oh, old Yu-Gi-Oh buddies. I mean... I'd be, I would be down to work with pretty much anybody who wants to get a land center going and help yeah, anyone elite, who's serious about it. Yeah, help elite entertainment get out there, especially what, especially if it's just a land center. If it's not just a land center, like at some point, you know, we do want to get to the entertainment aspect where it's all music, production stuff like that. Yeah. So you know, like day land center nightclub kind of thing <laughs> nightclub at night <laughs> exactly like Land you put center. you put the computers away yeah. at night and then just go hard you know who wouldn't like that who wouldn't who wouldn't want to spend eight hours real. of their time at a gaming land center you know play for four hours you know and then just get ready to you know yeah. melt your face to some good music Cause man, that's a great idea because like you're just playing games land style with your buddies all day, and then party it up at night. Yeah, exactly. You got you got relaxed time, you know. Or of course, of course, we're gonna have tournaments and stuff. So. Oh yeah, that just comes with the territory. Yeah, exactly. So you're gonna you're gonna want to unwind. So, um, but anyways, back to the name. I was actually tell tell me tell me if you guys like this or not, but. I give credit to Mr. Uh, Matt uh, Kefka Castlestone. He actually, you know, he actually recommended the name Elite when I was first trying to DJ. We were talking one day, and I was like, bro, I'm thinking of changing my DJ name because I used to go by DJ Kratos. You know, me being Greek and all and loving God of War why not and right. so i came to him one day and i'm like you know bro i'm thinking about changing my dj name and then he comes out with elite like e1337 i'm like i just sit there and i'm like how did i not think of this before <laughs> that is just completely amazing it basically brings all aspects of nerdism into one little one five letter slash number you wouldn't even call it a word because it has numbers in it. It's a, it's just a conglomeration of symbols. Let's put it that way. But uh, anyways, back to my point. He also came up with um, digital anarchy. Hmm. Digital anarchy for a land center slash nightclub. That's interesting. That I I mean I personally like it. I think it. I think it would. Um, I mean, you know, obviously digital covers the gaming and video aspects, and then anarchy kind of like, you know, nightclub, do whatever you want. 
where cool kids, you know. It's where the cool kids go. Uh, Nico, what? Yeah, let me let me know what you guys think about that name. Well, you know, and a steampunk shop. Yeah. Oh my. What God. doesn't this place have? What? Yeah. What? <laughs> okay. Let's let's start listing the stuff that we're we not. Got a gonna... roller coaster in the back. <laughs> we got we got a merry-go-round for the kids. There's we a got slip a... and slide off the top of the building into a pool in the back. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right. But... Dude, that can totally happen though. Don't even trip. There's a there is a Homemade company. Slide, there was a so company safe. in China. They made their headquarters the USS Enterprise. Really? Yeah. So, I mean, wow. the sky's really the limit. Like, it could be a thing. Um, but, yeah. I, I mean, Nico, text me after. We can throw names around. Uh, digital Anarchy. Like, that would be... That would be a thing. That would be a thing. Definitely be a thing. Uh, but, what's... Let's move on to our last topic before we actually last topic. get into, I guess, the ramblings for the pa- for the next 30 minutes before we actually have to cut this off. But, um, yeah, no, of course, yeah, well, we have to sit down and discuss everything. I already... I already have animatronics um, and dubstep. Animatronics. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have a, a real Five Nights at Freddy's kind of. Thing. Oh yeah. We'll we'll have it on like certain days. People get it's in like the Halloween, animatronic suits. Like Halloween, just go suits. all out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. People get in the suits and like some put somebody in a room like. Ah! <laughs> you gotta stop them, but yeah, no, we'll we'll definitely talk about it. I actually have. Not a full business plan set out, but I do have at least the logistical kind of how much money we're going to have to at least start up with it, um, you know, for the equipment and all that. So, I mean, I'm I'm already half prepared, and the fact that you're, you already found people is just, man. That's great. I'm just, oh, man. I'm really ecstatic now. <laughs> Stop it. Too much excitement in one week. Come on, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a, a heart attack from excitement. 